happy new year it is the 2nd of january basically yesterday was a complete write-off because i was hungover i did not leave the house all day but it's fine it's a new day it's monday i decided that this vlog is going to be kind of like a little reset because obviously it's a new year and i haven't talked to you guys in a while because i was doing vlogmas and I went to Colorado and long story short, I was sick for a long time, like I just had a cold which was basically like a sinus infection and then the sinus infection caused me to have a double ear infection, so I had an ear infection in both ears. And then um, we decided to drive up a mountain in Colorado and because of the elevation and the like change in, um, yeah, the change in elevation driving up the mountain, it caused my eardrums to rupture. and. Basically, it was like the most painful thing in the entire world. I was like screaming in pain um, My ears were literally bleeding So that just kind of like put a whole damper on the trip in Colorado and I basically just like took a big break off of working and like filming and stuff, but um, My ears are finally better. I can pretty much hear normally again. It took like about a week for it to heal it was not fun very uncomfortable not good I still have to wear earplugs when I go in the water and stuff, but Anyways, I feel much better, so I'm very excited because it's New Year and I just really feel like I needed like a fresh start and so that's kind of what we're doing. So also, I made these little 2023 planners. It's literally 188 pages. Like, I whipped it up. Um, it has every single month. It has meal planners in it, um, journal prompts, a workout tracker, meditation tracker. Like, I tried to incorporate every single aspect of wellness into it and it's basically just a thing where you can like log and track whatever. So yeah, if you guys want to download it, it's literally only $10 because I didn't even think I was going to be able to finish it before the end of the year because of what happened. But we pulled ourselves together. I did it. I finished it. I'm very proud of myself for actually getting it done. But yeah, I just wanted to make it super accessible and affordable for everybody. I'm personally going to be using it all throughout the year. It has a like financial tracker as well because I really need to get better at like tracking my spending and all that stuff. So if you guys want to download it, I'll have it in the link down below in the description. Um, anyways, James has today off, so I think we're going to go hiking and go to the gym. We cleaned the house this morning, we had a healthy breakfast, so we're getting on top of it, we're getting ourselves back together. I am wearing this top from Gilly Hicks, I think it's like asymmetrical, and then these leggings are from The Giving Movement. The jacket is Free People Movement, I'm wearing my hokas, and then this little headband is from Amazon. And then I also have this little crossbody bag that James got me for Christmas and it's also from Amazon. Oh my god, we just got here. I got such bad motion sickness in the car. Oh, my stomach feels so bad right now. But we're here. We're doing it. Supposedly there is a waterfall at the end of this hike and since it rained recently... But which way do we go? I don't know. Trail, I'm just okay. Since it rained recently, I'm assuming that it will have a lot of water in it, hopefully. All right, we're back from our hike. We basically came home and we're just super hungry because I only brought like an apple and some trail mix on the hike. So we're doing taco night. Everything's ready. I'm very excited. So we have tortillas. I have vegan sour cream salsa. Um, I made some vegan like ground beef things, some beans, and we have bell peppers and onions. Good morning, happy Tuesday, happy 3rd of January, the official first day of the new year, in my opinion. I thought I would need only one day of rest to like actually feel myself again, but I think just like with the end of the year being crazy with me being sick in my ears and then going out on New Year's Eve and getting home super late. Honestly, even this morning, I was like struggling to get out of bed. I put my alarm on for like 5.45 and like did not wake up until seven, so. 
it's okay. We are having a little lazy morning. I actually meditated this morning though, which is one of my goals to like actually, I wanna like be doing it daily by the end of this year. So that's one of my goals. I'm having some coffee. I had some blueberries and a little like coconut energy thing um, because I've been trying to not drink coffee on an empty stomach. And then I'm also gonna go to the gym. We didn't end up going to the gym yesterday because we went for a hike. Um, but yeah, I haven't like properly been going to the gym for like three weeks and I feel like, not that I'm starting from scratch, but like I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to pick off, pick up exactly where I left off, which is fine. So I think I'm gonna go to the gym. It's super rainy and stormy out today, which really just makes me wanna stay inside and do nothing, but I'm trying to fight through that. I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I'm already in my gym clothes. I feel like that's the that's the key to like forcing yourself to go is like once I get in my clothes, it's like I know eventually I'm gonna have to go. You know what I mean? As opposed to like if I'm just like lounging around, I'm like, yeah, I'll get ready soon. It's like, no, I have to get ready and then I'll do like my other little things because then I know like once I'm in my clothes, like I already have my shoes on. So it's like kind of have to go now. You know what I mean? official gym workout of the new year. Definitely I'm not as strong as I was before the year, but obviously I haven't been to the gym in like three weeks. So that just means we can only go up from here. We're staying positive. I actually like accidentally lost a lot of weight. Not a lot, but like for me, since I'm short, a lot of weight is like just a couple of pounds is like, you know, kind of a noticeable difference. Um, I wasn't trying to lose weight and I'm actually, I'm pretty sure most of the weight that I lost was muscle. So yeah, we have to work ourselves up. I've noticed with my body, just how I am, I gain but also lose muscle very quickly. And kind of same with like fat, like my weight fluctuates very fast, um, which can be good, I guess. Like I can gain muscle pretty quickly, but also like if I stop going to the gym for a few weeks, like I will already notice a huge difference. So that's fine. It's whatever. Um, I was definitely struggling in there. I think that I probably didn't eat enough food yesterday because I was feeling a little bit lightheaded. I don't know if I've talked about this on here, but my appetite has not been like what it used to be. And I think it's just from being sick for a while. Like I have not been eating enough because I've been having to like force myself to eat because I just like haven't been hungry, which is so weird for me because I love food. Like eating is my favorite thing to do. I always get excited for every meal. And lately I've been having to force myself. I can tell that it's coming back slowly. Like I'm starting to get like more and more hungry, which is good. And I think working out will help because obviously I'm like using calories, I'm burning calories. I'm going to want to eat more to like replenish myself. So anyways, I'm going to go home now, eat a solid high protein breakfast. And it's still a very gloomy, rainy day today, but we're still going to get stuff done. All right, for breakfast, I made some cherry tomatoes with balsamic um, vinegar and olive oil and I put that in the microwave so they're all like hot and juicy and then I made some fried eggs a piece of toast with some spread on it and then these are the vitamins I'm taking so I have this um, magnesium and vitamin C they're all from Symbiotica I've been trying to be better at taking my vitamins hello I haven't vlogged since breakfast because I showered and then just like got some work done and stuff and I've been hanging around the house but I'm about to go get dumplings with my friends so I'm gonna go meet them there it's super stormy outside still but yeah I'm gonna go have dinner with them my friend has been in town um, for the holidays but she's going back up to Santa Cruz for college uh, to go back to school next weekend so this will probably be like the last time that I see her for a while so we're gonna have like a little fun goodbye dinner Hello, it's the next day. Dinner last night was super delicious. We went to this Chinese restaurant and basically just ordered so much food and it was also really cheap. I haven't really vlogged today at all. We went to the gym this morning. 
We did back and biceps, haven't done that in a while. I definitely, again, am not as strong as I was before, but it's okay. Um, we're getting back into it. And then um, just made breakfast and have kind of been in the house again because it's been stormy. But I'm about to go meet my friend at a new coffee shop in North Park that opened up. I've never been to it and it looks really cute. And we're just gonna work from there and bring my laptop. And I'm also gonna go to Trader Joe's after because I really need to go to the grocery store. So kind of running some like late afternoon errands, I guess. Okay, I'm back from Trader Joe's. For some reason, that was like a super stressful Trader Joe's experience. I think just because the time that I went, it was like really busy. They were out of a lot of stuff. It was really small. And you know when you go to a new Trader Joe's, they're always set up differently. Yeah, so I was like- like when you go to Trader Joe's and you can never get your full shop and you never, you always have to go to another shop. That's why Trader Joe's sucks. James hates Trader Joe's. Anyways, stop the Trader Joe's slander. I don't know, it was really stressful. So I felt like I definitely didn't get everything that I needed to. Also, they were out of a lot of stuff, like I said. So anyways, I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, I got tofu. I always get tofu, it's like one of my staples. I got these little Korean rice cakes. I really want to try them. I think they're new. I don't really know what to do with them, so give me some ideas if you have any. Got some cucumbers, some falafel, this bulgogi stuff, amazing. I always talk about it. Some hummus, some broccoli, this like gochujang vegetable stir fry, which I think I'm gonna do that with this and maybe the rice cakes, maybe like a big stir fry thing. I got hearts of palm, this olive, cracked olive salad that I really want to try. I think I'll do that with like the Mediterranean stuff. Some sourdough bread, corn chips, um, garlic, potato, one, literally one potato. Some romaine hearts for salads, garlic spread, tabbouleh, mushrooms, tomatoes, spinach, this little turmeric immunity shot, and this um, oats and seeds milk. I just made dinner. I made this really big salad. It has like tabbouleh, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, hummus, garlic sauce, it has the olive salad in it chopped up spinach, lettuce, it's like, there's a lot of stuff I just feel like you can't really see it all because it's really chopped up. And then some of the Trader Joe's falafel. So we've been like eating salads a lot lately, but like really fun ones with a lot of stuff in them. Yeah. 